Hey everyone, this is Cody with Elite Spinal and Sports Care in Sacramento, California. Before we get started, consider subscribing to our channel by clicking the subscribe button below. This is to stay up to date on our latest videos, bringing you quality content on everything exercise, health, and wellness. Now, this video is going to be about glenohumeral joint controlled articular rotations, or CARS for short. This comes from the FRC branch of Functional Range Systems. I'd highly recommend checking them out using the link below. We'll be moving our shoulder through the outer edge of our range of motion in a circular pattern for this movement. Two important concepts to note before we get started. First, if you find a particular portion of your circle causes you pain on the side of the joint you are moving towards, carve that portion of your circle out and don't push through it. Secondly, remember to move slowly and with some imaginary resistance to your movement, acting as if you were moving through dense air that was pushing back against you. We'll be using our left arm and using the pit of the elbow as a reference point, either rotating it towards the body for internal rotation or away from the body for external rotation. Let's get started with the arm fully externally rotated by your side and begin to irradiate. You can corkscrew your feet into the ground to contract and stiffen the legs. Imagine squeezing a tennis ball in either hand to stiffen the arm muscles. Take a breath in, embrace the core as if you are packing that air down into your lower abdomen. From this point on, our entire body is stiff and immobile except for our left shoulder joint. Keeping the arm straight and trying to maintain external rotation, sweep the arm in front of the body, moving upwards to the overhead position. Remember to continue contracting and stiffening the muscles of the arm as you go through the movement. Once you hit your first roadblock overhead with your bicep near your ear, internally rotate your arm, bringing the pit of the elbow towards your body. Without moving your torso, begin to extend the arm behind you, continuing to internally rotate the arm more and carving out the biggest circle you can, ending with the back of your hand against your side, shoulder fully internally rotated. Let's reverse that movement now, extending the shoulder behind you, bringing your thumb up towards the ceiling. Once you hit a roadblock, externally rotate your shoulder while coming back to the overhead position, continually trying to externally rotate more and carve out a bigger circle. Reverse the rest of the movement by sweeping the arm back across the body, and remember to move slowly and deliberately, increasing the tension throughout the arm as if you were fighting to move it through dense air. Finally, ending with the arm by your side, elbow and palm facing forward. Now, let's review some common compensations that you should be aware of and consciously trying to prevent while doing this movement. While sweeping the arm across the body, a common compensation is either rotating our torso or bending the elbow to achieve this movement of adduction. While approaching overhead, we tend to compensate by extending our back or excessively elevating our shoulder towards the ear to achieve this movement of flexion. Reaching backward, again, watch out for rotating your whole body rather than just your shoulder to try to achieve extension. And lastly, while extending the arm from the internally rotated position, a common compensation is to dump the whole shoulder forward to give the illusion of more shoulder extension. Thanks for watching our video, and if you liked it, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button below for more quality content coming your way. And if you're in the Sacramento area, feel free to check us out and book an appointment at the link below.